Hi there, I'm Suzanne, your friendly Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my monthly paper pumpkin alternative video on my YouTube channel and blog. I share five alternative ways to use the kit in this video and I sell the products I feature as well. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you sign up with me as a paper pumpkin subscriber. Visit sunstampin.com for more information. This month's paper pumpkin kit is called a kit in color. As I open up the box, I see a sneak peek for next month's paper pumpkin kit. It's called a box of sunshine. Inside this particular paper pumpkin, there is a stampin' spot called Misty Moonlight and a lovely stamp set. And these are the cards that you are able to make. If you follow the directions, which are included in this kit, it shows you very simply the step one, step two, step three, step four. And then for some of us, we like the back side because it does tell you what you can do more with this kit, like alternatives, like I'm going to share with you today. So I take one thing of all of the components and I set them off aside and I try to create with them. I also add some thick whisper white card stock. So this is a whisper white thick card base and I have used melon mambo, which is the closest to one of the colors that's on the paper pumpkin box called magenta madness. We haven't been able to get that in color yet. So I'm stamping the, the rainbow with melon mambo, pumpkin pie, and daffodil delight. And then, oh happy day, which is the sentiment here, I'm stamping with misty moonlight. This is a very simple card and anybody can do it. And it's a cute card. For my second card, I have the Whisper White Thick card base as well. And then I have one of the components from the kit. It is the rainbow. And the, the fact that they used in colors in this particular paper pumpkin kit is awesome because we get a chance to look at them all, but sadly we only get one of them, the Misty Moonlight. Next month we're going to be able to buy the in colors because they're coming in next month, June 3rd. So you can hold on to that paper pumpkin kit if you wanted to add some more, more accurate colors, coordinating colors. So I did cut this rainbow out and then I put uh, dimensionals on the back and then I put dimensionals on the two smaller clouds. Like I said, I took uh, an every one of everything from the kit and put it off to the side. I'm going to do my kit later, but I'm starting off with my alternatives first. I have stamped the Oh Happy Day with the Misty Moonlight. And now I'm going to put the rainbow on the Whisper White Thick card base. I'm putting the cloud on one side of the rainbow and then the smaller cloud on the other side of the rainbow. And then I've put uh, the oh happy day on dimensionals as well and of course I fussy cut that and I did not put that in the video there's enough fussy cutting in this video <laughs> as it stands I know most of you are going to be like oh Sue stop with the fussy cutting but uh, so anyway I put wink of Stella on the clouds and again another simple card so I'm trying not to go outside the box right now for those of you who are kind of new and for beginners or don't have a lot of supplies. So this is always a fun way when I use, I incorporate the envelope. So I rip apart the envelope. Uh, um, I try not to rip it too much. The thing is, 
I can sell you a, a thing of envelopes or your demonstrator can sell you, uh, you know, some envelopes for really inexpensively. And so you could use these envelopes as extra pattern paper. So this is my trimmer and I'm trimming down my envelope, which is beautiful uh, paper. And I think I cut that to two inches and then the Purple Posy card base that was in the kit, I took one of them and I sacrificed it <laughs> and I uh, trimmed it to maybe two and a quarter inches and now I'm just flagging the ends. So some people call this fishtailing, I think um, I call them flagging. So I cut up the middle and then I go from corner to the middle and that's how I make a fishtail and obviously um, you know I sort of made sure that I had the correct angle from when I did the first flag and now I've put um, dry adhesive on the I think this is magenta madness stripey envelope paper and I adhered it to my purple posy and then I did put some dimensionals behind I just set that aside so now I'm stamping with the misty moonlight I keep on wanting to call it misty morning so if I do do that please I'm sorry please forgive me <laughs> uh, and I got a really good impression with this um, stamping and I am fussy cutting it out so I am um, and the thing with the fussy cutting, I know it's crazy. Everybody doesn't like fussy cutting or most people don't. But the thing is that if you don't have a trimmer and all you have is scissors and, you know, there's some, you want this as an element on the card. Sure, you can, you know, use the pieces that are in the kit, but this kind of is just adding a little bit of extra whisper white paper and you're able to, you have another component for the card. So um, I find that this is quite handy and it just adds a little bit of something something instead of just a strip or a circle or whatever it's following the 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 lines of the beautiful scripted words so of course it does say you're amazing and i did put some dimensionals on behind, on the back of it and this is the baker's twine and i did wrap the baker's twine is so funny too because I took all the stickers off my dimensionals ready to put it on the card and I'm like oh I should put baker's twine on there so here is my silicone mat and uh, I can put that down and it's, my dimensionals aren't going to stick to my work surface this is if you have a silpat or something like that in the kitchen this will work too All right, so now I'm gonna stick everything to my card front. And then you can see I have a little bit left over hanging on. So I'm gonna cut that down. And then I'm going to add some of the embellishments. Now I am using the Take Your Pick tool. It's probably one of the best tools to buy if you're looking to add to your collection at an affordable price it's a very useful tool the pokey end I use all the time spatula end not so much but um, it does have a gluey end and that helps you you know pick up some embellishments and that sort of thing it's a very useful tool and it's really affordable so you saw what I did there I was able to put the the sentiment on the card All right, this is a card number four. I have another card base that I'm sacrificing. I cut it down with my trimmer to four inches by five and a quarter. I've put some dry adhesive on the back and I am adhering it to a whisper white thick card base. I folded that in half and used my bone folder to uh, fold it down. And then I've adhered with a little white border all the way around. So now I have uh, my cloud 
and a little piece of vellum that was from the kit. So my mistake here is I should have put more adhesive, more dry adhesive all over the entire cloud, but I didn't. I got lazy or it wasn't even so much lazy. I got um, just stingy, <laughs> got stingy with my adhesive. Um, so what I ended up doing is you can see there, I cut off the excess and I use that excess on the top of the card. So one cloud was able to cover this whole, or, you know, add elements to the vellum. And uh, I put dimensionals behind the clouds. Now I'm coming in with that misty moonlight, uh, ink and I've inked up the large hay and I'm going to fussy cut the lar the hay out. Why it was a mistake that I didn't have adhesive on the clouds is because at the end I go over with Wink of Stella and for whatever reason I think maybe that might have been one of the Wink of Stellas that I actually have water in but um, I ended up putting the Wink of Stella over the clouds and the, as they dried they kind of dried and like warped a little bit and it might be the paper that is in the uh, paper pumpkin kit it's I mean it's a good quality paper but it's not the best quality it's not like our regular stamping paper I have noticed a difference anyway it's excellent for you know um, beginners or folks like me that um, enjoy the kit at a lower cost but it's not like this particular stamping paper that I'm using here for the sentiments Anyway, um, so yeah, my clouds kind of curled up on me. So the more adhesive, the better. So once that hay has been completely cut out, I did put it on dimensionals and now I flipped that vellum over and I'm putting more dimensionals on it. So there's not going to be any sagging because there is nothing worse than a saggy card. And then I'm able to put that right in the center. And then here comes the very wet Wink of Stella. I reuse my Wink of Stella. I try to, you know, get as much glitter as I can out. And sometimes I have issues like this where it touches paper and you know, water and paper kind of doesn't mix. So hello. <laughs> Okay, so card number five. Can you imagine that we're already on the last card? I have the cloud negative pieces. So when you punched out the clouds, you're going to have a negative piece of these little die cuts. So what I ended up, I like to use them. So I have some, this is frog tape, but any painter, any kind of painter's tape uh, would work. Very gently rub it on your skin and pull it off and you'll neutralize the stickiness of the painter's tape. You could also use post-it notes if you wish. And I have a dauber here and I'm very softly just along the edge of those clouds making ploofy blue clouds only kind of works with blue um, I'm thinking like if you had green in there I don't know if it would work so well maybe gray would work too but um, yeah it doesn't really work with other like you have to do sky colors how's that so you can see what I'm doing here I'm laying down the, it's like now a stencil and then uh, the painter's tape is my mask and I have a dauber here daubers come in like a set of five I have to repurchase um, I well I always repurchase five for the new ink colors that come in because I have one for every color and I have full set syndrome like many of you as well. Uh, I am just laying down. This is my last ploofy cloud and it is very light and you can see I sort of have stamped off on my uh, grid sheet there uh, my my dauber so that I didn't have too much ink. All right so on a separate piece of paper I am stamping actually twice just because I was seasoning this 
stamp but also too if you're going to do something once you might as well do it twice so i'm stamping with the melamombo the pumpkin pie and my daffodil delight and these colors are obviously not in the kit but they it kind of i kind of go with these colors for um, happy rainbows and you're only given like three rainbow rings I guess or arches in the kit so I mean what colors would you have chosen so I went with I went with these um, I probably could have you know done with two more rings to be honest because it's not evening out my Roy G Biv and for those of you who have you know even just a little touch of OCD uh, it probably is driving you as crazy as it's driving me <laughs> Anyway, so I've stamped two rainbows that are inaccurately colored and I have I've chosen to cut out the second one. And what I'm doing right now is bringing in the mask again and I'm just going to use a, a pencil and I'm going to lightly pencil um, a line from one of those from the stencil of the ploofy cloud so that I can cut this rainbow so it actually looks like it's coming behind one of the ploofy clouds. I suppose you don't have to go to this detail but I was you know stepping it up a little bit. And this was just a little piece of Whisper White paper too. Like it just comes from my stash. It was not in the kit. So I've glued my inaccurately colored rainbow, but it is still cheerful and happy. And now I am inking up the hay again. Every time I see this word, I think of was Matthew McConaughey who goes, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't do him well, but he's pretty. Uh, okay, so now I'm uh, cutting out the hay and I think I, I, I um, did not share with you the fussy cutting because we've done a lot of that. But I've taken this uh, Whisper White piece and again I've just attached it to the, the second half of that purple posy and a uh, card that I sacrificed in the other card. And now I'm putting uh, on dimensionals the hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and then I did put this purple posy piece up on dimensionals as well. And then I'm putting it directly on my card base, my whisper white thick card base. You see my bone folder to fold that down. And here is a lovely simple card as well. And I think I used the Wink of Stella on the hay because, um, yeah, when I start using the Wink of Stella, I just don't stop. So there should be a self-help group for this. Or actually, I don't want help. I, I particularly like to sparkle. If this was, you know, safe for me to put on my eyeshadow, I would probably, most likely. I use a lot of glitter. I have been known to use Wink of Stella to paint my fingernails and then put a clear coat over top. Guess what? You get a bonus today. <laughs> so this one, again, is using some more inks from your stash. Uh, again, I used the Melon Mambo Pumpkin Pie Daffodil Delight, and then I added a green, Granny Green Apple and the Misty Moonlight. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm inking up half of the stamp and then inking up the second half of the stamp and then using a dauber to soften the transition between the two colors. So we're going in rainbow order and um, I do this for all the colors. So my bottom half here, or my, my bottom half is gonna be my top half. Does that make sense? So I started off with Melon Mambo and then Pumpkin Pie. And now Pumpkin Pie is melding with uh, Daffodil Delight. And the Daffodil Delight is going to meld with Granny Apple Green. But I did a little mistake and I used my Crush Curry Dauber instead of my Daffodil Delight Dauber. And I think it somehow, it just didn't transition as well. But that's because I had to, obviously the wrong dauber so it's not these colors um, granny apple green is one of those colors that does blend with everything although it doesn't look so great with misty moonlight so uh, 
it's one of those little bit of an experiment here. It's not, I'm not fond of that green and blue combo. And you'll see what I mean when I do stamp with it. And as I said, uh, this is a Whisper White Thick card base. And the reason why I'm doing this as a bonus is because many of you might not have all of these extra colors. I'm inking up the You're Amazing sentiment again, stamping it on a scrap piece of Whisper White. This is just regular paper uh, cardstock. Uh, I always call it stamping white paper, but it doesn't say that in the catalog. It just says Whisper White Regular and then Whisper White Thick. So you have to identify the two different ones. And I find it stamps amazingly. So I wanted a very, um, oh my gosh, there's a mosquito in here. Hello. Mosquitoes. Ugh, they're so big. Anyway, uh, at least they're not killer wasps. <laughs> okay, so you saw what I did there. Put dimensionals on the back of your amazing. And now I have adhered it to a banner that is vellum that comes in the kit and then I am fussy cutting around this again but not super careful so I'm just creating maybe a quarter inch uh, border all the way around it and I usually do this if the background is really bright and I want my sentiment to stamp out stand out and it does that it sort of mutes that color and also because of the dauber incident <laughs> I uh, use my colors again and I sort of embellish the card just using ink. All right, that's my cards for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you again shortly. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.